Good day, good day, and welcome to day seven. What's going on, guys? What's going on? Hopefully, you're holding in. Hopefully, um, the spirit of the Lord is moving. Okay, I don't know um, where you got guys are individually, spiritually, collectively um, on your walk with the Lord, but let me just tell you that God is moving. Okay, He's changing things. All right, he's shifting you in this process. Um, even with myself, he shifted the pole fast for me. Um, as you guys know, I started prior. I started before um, the actual fast started. Um, so I'm gonna be going a couple of a couple of extra days. But not only that, the spirit of the Lord has shifted the fast for me. Okay, um, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, well, can I just have this? And the Spirit of the Lord is like, nope. So maybe the fast has shifted for you. Um, maybe you're not consuming as uh as much a like as many of the food choices on the on the menu. Okay. Um, I don't know, but God is moving, is all I can say. Get ready for financial increase, get ready for blessings. All right. The Spirit of the Lord has been showing me this all day um today in terms of angel numbers. All right. Um, so just get ready. Get ready for surprises. Expect the unexpected is what I'm hearing. Expect the unexpected. But I mean, like in the in a great way. OK, um, if many of you all have been dealing with spiritual warfare. OK, I know I have. If you've been dealing with that, just know that vengeance is mine, said the Lord. In fact, that's what this title, uh, that's what the title of this video is going to be called. Vengeance is mine, said the Lord, because he said here in Isaiah 26, I'm going to give you, I'm coming from the book of Psalms. I got your Psalms card right here. It popped out for me immediately, but I got quite a few scriptures today. So just bear with me. Okay, guys. Um, but the spirit of the Lord says here, seek shelter for the judgments are coming so when i say vengeance is mindset lord it's because judgment is here god is about to vindicate you god is about to restore you god is about to handle your lightweight somebody tell god thank you god is about to stop the enemy and the heathen in their tracks for everything that they've been doing to you all of the persecution all of you know what i'm saying the little mental attacks the subtle attacks Everything is getting ready to cease and desist because God is saying enough is enough. Okay, He said in this in this um, uh, Isaiah twenty six verse twenty, come, my people, enter thou into thy chambers and shut thy doors about thee. Hide thyself as it were for a little moment until the indignation be overpassed okay so just a little just a little moment because he says seek shelter for the judgments are coming okay i don't know about you but i had to get away i had to get away i had to step out of the environment okay i had to get away i had to seek shelter because this judgment that god is about to bring i don't want to be in the way of nobody some of your family members, whoever has caused you havoc, you might want to get from around them. Whoever done opened their mouth up against you, God says any tongue that rises in judgment against you, he will condemn. Okay, vengeance is mine, said the Lord. Okay, you know that this 21-day fast is where, we, where we're sitting on the right hand of the Father until he makes every last one of our enemies our footstool in the mighty name of jesus okay in the mighty name of jesus because what he's about to do he's about to blossom you here moving on uh, to isaiah 27 and verse 6 says he shall cause them that come of jacob to take root israel shall blossom and bud and fill the face of the world with fruit hallelujah god is getting ready to multiply you let me tell you the works of your hand mighty are the works of your hands 
Mighty are the works of your hands, is what I'm hearing. Mighty are the works of your hands. Okay, God is increasing the work of your hands. He's multiplying you. Everything that you touch will prosper. Okay, it will prosper. Okay, it will be fruitful. It will multiply in the mighty name of Jesus. All right, moving on to Proverbs. He gave me this scripture last night. Proverbs chapter three, verse five through six says, trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding in all your ways, submit to him and he will make your paths straight. He will make your paths straight. Okay, so submit your will unto the Lord for his will to be done in your life. All right, so that means let go and let God. Okay, that's what it means. Now, here's your Psalms uh, scripture. Okay, because every day we're, we're going to be coming from the book of Psalms, like I promised, right? So, although God might want to give me other scripture, we're still going to be coming from the book of Psalms. So, excuse me, the, um, the Psalm scripture is Psalms 143 and 8. It says, let the morning bring me word of your unfailing love, for I have put my trust in you. Show me the way I should go, for to you I entrust my life, right? So this goes hand in hand. Look at that. When you lean not to your own understanding, then you can fully trust in God, and he will show you the way you should go. Okay, this fasting, what fasting does is it is it it, it 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 opens you to be that clean pure vessel that the lord needs to be that clean pure channel that the lord needs so that you could hear from god okay so that god could let you know of your next steps and what he would have you to do so that your mind is clear is focused okay you're consecrated okay because you're consecrated right there's concentration that your mind is able to dwell in when you fast okay it yeah it, it, it clears your mind it brings clarity it opens your eyes it brings vision Okay, and life to your vision because you're able to walk in the faith. You're able to walk in the surety. You're able to be confident in God and what he said. Okay, it's really important. God is on the move. Let me tell you, God got it going on. God is my all and my all. God is my prince of peace. He is my everlasting joy. God is. Hey, God is, mm, God is everything and you shall recover it all. You shall recover it all. Okay. I shall recover it all. I shall recover it. It all, all, I shall recover it all, oh yes, double portion. God said, weeping may endure for a night. I know you've been crying, but joy, joy comes in the morning light. So dry your eyes and lift up your head. There's no reason to feel regrets. For everything is done for a reason 
to elevate and learn them lessons. I thank you, Lord, for recovering it all. Yes. I just thought I'd bless you with that song. That song was channeled to me from the heavenlies many seasons ago when I was going through. Okay. That came in to comfort me. How many of you know that God will comfort you? When that song just creep up in your spirit, when that a uh, 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 still small voice just whispers something in your ear saying that I will deliver on time, saying that fret not thyself because of evil doers, okay? God, the foot shall tread it down. Okay, God is going to drive them out in the mighty name of Jesus. Just know that. Find shelter because the judgments are coming. This is the word of the Lord <laughs> concerning them enemies, concerning everybody that's been playing with God's chosen folks. Let me tell you, God ain't playing about you. God's serious about you. You are special to the heavenly father. Just know that. Just know that. Okay, so continue to walk in, in the spirit. Continue to sow into the spirit, okay? Get out of the flesh. When we fast, we sow to the spirit. And even though you're able to have vegetables and fruits, try, to, try your best to sow to the spirit. Try your best to... Be fully consecrated. Try your best to give God all your best. Okay, give God your excellence. Okay, do this fast and excellence unto God. Okay, because he said here in Isaiah 25 verse 8, He will swallow up death in victory. And the Lord God will wipe away tears of all faces and the rebuke of his people shall he take away from off all the earth for the Lord has spoken it. I'm telling you, God is about to do it. He's going to wipe, wipe. He's going to wipe all of your tears away for they that so in tears will reap in joy. I'm going to reap my joy, honey. It's already coming in. Let me tell you a little quick, little quick testimony right quick, right? So I, so the Spirit of the Lord told me to get away. So I came to a hotel, right? Make a long story short. I had, you know, booked the hotel or whatever. I got here. Um, the room that I, I received first on the, on the, on the, um, the uh, floor in which the room was on, there was smoking. And this is a non-smoking unit. Ever since COVID, you can't smoke in the hotels. But, you know, people still break the rules um, and they pay fines later. Okay. So, I go in the room and, you know, I'm not really feeling the energy. So, I walk in the room and I'm like, uh, I don't know, Heavenly Father. I don't know. So, I stayed in there for a little bit to fill it out. And then there was a door, you know, the door that connects you to, to be able to go into another room. Unless, in case you come with a group and you want to be able to, you know, go in each other room. I was in one of those rooms and I didn't really um, prefer that. So I gave a call downstairs. I went back downstairs. I told her she, she gave me a different room. The room she gave me, the new room key was on the same floor and it was somebody's room. So I go to open up the door and I walk into someone's room. <laughs> Glory to God. So as I'm getting ready to head back, right? I'm getting ready to head back downstairs and let her know she gave me a key to a room that's already occupied. So she's coming upstairs. So as the elevator opened, she was right there and I was right there. She's like, oh my God, did you go in? Did anything happen? I was like, no, nothing happened. She was like, I'm so sorry about this. I'm so sorry about that. Come with me downstairs. I'm going to give you another room. So as we're going back downstairs, she asked me, what, what floor would you like to be on? Because I, I love this hotel. I come to this hotel a lot. So I was like, oh, put me on the fourth floor. I've never been on the, on the fourth floor. Put me on the fourth floor. So she put me on the fourth floor. And when I tell you this is a executive suite, this is more than what I paid for. <laughs> 
this is more than what I bargained for. This is this room is huge. Like this whole area here reaches all the way out. Let me show you guys. This. This is like a huge gigantic room okay it's very spacious and over there you have the bathroom and everything it's beautiful and look at my view i'm able to look at the sky you know if i pull this this um this thing up a little bit more but he's already in the blessing business it's already happening you're you're about to get more than what you bargained for like i said expect the unexpected you are about to get you ain't pay for it you ain't like you are about to get more than what you bargained for honey you are about to get double for your trouble let me tell you double for your trouble that is your portion and some of you all are about to get seven times that okay because of how long this thing how long you've had to endure this thing glory be to god it's been like a, 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 a you know an endurance okay it's not given to the swift nor the strong but it's given to those who can endure and many of you all have been enduring this thing and god is about to wipe all your tears away and he is about to bring them judgments in on them people on them folks who been messing with you who been doing all sorts of evil and witchcraft against you i bind it in the mighty name of jesus i cancel every attack i cancel every thought of you trying to initiate an attack i cancel it in the mighty name of jesus you guys are about to step into another uh level of anointing not only that another level of authority okay the more that you consecrate yourself and your vessel is pure the more power you hold okay when you speak a thing you think a thing it happens so be careful <laughs> be careful okay be careful what you think about Think on the things, Philippians 4, 8. Think on these things, okay? Don't think about no enemy. Don't think about what God about to do to no enemy because, honey, you can make it happen. You can make it happen with your thought. Just know that. Just know that, okay? So we have to, we as chosen vessels have to be very careful. That's why God says to be in his likeness, in his image, with compassion. Pray for your enemies. Okay, pray for them who despitefully use you. Okay, right now, I, I pray for my enemies right now. I pray for your enemies. Father God, I pray that they know you. I pray that they turn their hearts towards you, Father God. I pray that they repent and ask you for forgiveness, Father God. I pray that you have mercy. I pray that you bestow grace. For you said, pray for those who despitefully use you, Father Forgive them, for they know not what they do, Father God. They know not what they do. Forgive them and have mercy. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. I ain't got nothing but love for each and every last one of my enemies. I don't owe my enemies nothing but to love them. I don't owe nobody nothing but to love them. So we love them today, Father God. We love them today and we come from a place of compassion, a place of forgiveness, and we come from a place in you, your character. Hey, for you said great, hallelujah. Glory be to God is our reward, hallelujah. Great is your reward in heaven, hallelujah. Happy, happy is he if ye do these things in the mighty name of Jesus. I decree and declare blessings upon your life for being obedient. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Until next time, guys, I love you with the love of Christ. Be blessed.